Okay, so I'm going to show you how to wrap text around double curved surface using a technique that I found. Uh, this is the result and now let's get into it. So first you want to create two sketches and project the geometry of the of the thing you want to project onto uh, in the horizontal and vertical plane. Now like that. In the top-down view I need some uh, flat line, a straight line, which will be used later. So we'll just connect the line with a fillet, like that. Now we use the sheet metal tools to create a flange out of our sketch lines, both in the horizontal and vertical directions. Make sure to uh, make it long enough so it wraps nicely. At this point you might want to start naming your bodies. Now, create two more bodies. Paste. Now, at the first straight body, put the text you want to turn around or wrap around. And cut through the body a little bit, not, not straight through, just a little bit. Also, the positioning is uh, not very precise, so you might want to try this a uh, couple of times to make it perfect. Okay, now we want to split the face of our first curved uh, body using the letters we just etched into the first auxiliary body. And you want to project it along a vector which is uh, perpendicular to our first flat body. Okay. Now we are going to hide this, we don't need it anymore, and unwrap the curved body using a sheet metal tool. Uh, now we are going to extrude again or cut again but watch closely, this is going to come with a little twist. I want to cut, but not through this vertical body, but through our second auxiliary body. Like that. Okay. Now we don't need the vertical body anymore. You can see the text is distorted a bit, but that's exactly what we wanted. Now unfold our horizontal body and, and project the text once more onto the horizontal unwrapped body. Okay, now we don't need this helping body anymore and we are going to cut once more all the letters into our horizontal unwrapped body like that. Now we can refold the faces and you can see we are getting somewhere. Now all we have to do is split the face of our initial body, the uh, ball thingy, and select closest point. Now select 
each of those letters again. And you can already, already see the result is becoming pretty satisfying. Now we don't need this horizontal body anymore. And now you can just use the pull press tool to raise the bodies or imprint them into our double curved surface. How neat is that? Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Maybe it can be done easier way. So if you find one, feel free to comment and well, have a nice day.